MedSkills is a division of Medasi. Medasi's MedSkills approach is targeted towards 40 lakh paramedical professionals that are required for the country in the coming days as per the planning commission. MedSkills is conceived in order to provide quality manpower in the area of physician assistant, pharma assistant, patient assistant, lab assistant and ECG. This course is aimed at bridging the gap which is widely present in the hospitals. Like every hospital is facing a very big shortage of paramedical staff. They are able to hire doctors, they are able to hire nurses directly from the medical and nursing colleges, whereas there is no comprehensive center which is going to cater on to the need of the paramedical staff. So we thought it is going to be the right time to train them on the minimum medical skills or minimum skills which are required in a hospital over a period of 7 to 10 weeks so that the student after completion of the course is going to be able to perform simple procedures like recording the BP, recording the weight of a patient, recording the height of a patient and also will be in a position to supply all the required equipment to the doctor or nurse in supporting the procedure. Students have a very unique opportunity of learning and getting trained from the masters through our video lectures from the experts in their own pace at their own time. We have almost 60 to 80 percent of this high quality content so that the student have a standardized training methodology. That way we ensure that not only the one we have started currently in Bashiba but all across the country has the same kind of learning process. This course is devised in such a way that the student attends the classes every week for five days and every day is going to be for about four to five hours. Half of this time is going to be catered into the theory classes which are done on an online mode and we also have coordinator who are going to explain the stuff which is coming on the video in the local language. Every topic, every bit of it is going to be repeated twice or thrice so that the student gains adequate knowledge required to the extent. And after the break, there are going to be sessions which are conducted on the lines of having a seminar, a mock session or a group discussion so that the topic which is covered on that day is going to be revised three to four times so that by the end of the five hours the student is going to be completely having the knowledge of what is expected to and every next day when they come back to the class for the first 15 minutes are going to be catered into the revision where small questions are going to be asked to understand their level of knowledge every week that is on the last day there is going to be a test which is going to cover all the subjects or all the topics which are started or explained from Monday through Friday. Hi, I'm Monica. I'm a student of MedSkills and I'm really proud to be a student of MedSkill. They are providing us with an on-job training wherein like we can feel the real experience into hospitals as well as they are providing us with a V-Skill certification and uh, even mock sessions are done every day over here. And I really thank MedSkills from the bottom of my heart as like they have given a real experience into healthcare sector. The other unique feature about these courses are, these courses are certified by V-Skills, which is a government of Delhi initiative company, which gives certificates for all these courses. Apart from our video classes and the facility, we also have MedSkill Lab. This MedSkill Lab has all that are essentially used in a hospital scenario. The student will have a first-hand experience to know each and every part of the lab that works in a regular scenario. We have also ensured that they go for on-the-job training, which is about two weeks, which they spend with the existing clients with whom we serve or also with the designated hospitals which we have identified for them to get the on-the-job training. After the completion of OJT, the client themselves can have the students or we place them to respective hospitals where they can get an entry-level job. Right now sitting here, I can tell, give me 1,000 medical people, skilled people, I'll see that they get a job. <laughs>
minimum 1,000. 8,000 hospitals, even if one takes one one person, we get 8,000, but 1,000 I stand here and give you country. We'll have a proper understanding with them. That you pass out from here, you come to us, we'll uh, uh, give a practical training and absorb them. And it will be a much, much better salary than what others are paying. The curriculum is devised in such a way that we are not only looking at equipping the students with a theory, but also making them understand the professional attitude which is expected out of them in a hospital. They are supposed to support the patients and also the healthcare staffs in hectic conditions like an emergency, an accident, everything in a hospital is an emergency. So these people should take minimum time to adapt themselves and also apply themselves. Friends, my name is Carol. I'm from Bombay. Uh, prior to this, I was working with call centers and then I thought of uh, helping people in different kinds of ways. So I thought of taking healthcare coordinator job where you interact with patients. You come to know each and everything in this healthcare coordinator, how to interact with the patient uh, when you are in the hospital in your bad times, in your good times. So I feel my future will be bright in this uh, healthcare coordinator and I wish all the best for anyone who joined this healthcare coordinator. Thank you. Throughout the course, there is going to be an undercurrent where we are going to explain the seriousness of their role in the hospital, the way they are supposed to adapt in different circumstances in the hospital and they pass on the information or the seriousness or the professionalism of the hospital during their interaction with the patients. I'm sure with the using of technology, both in the classroom and as well as in the e-classroom, we ensure that the students does extremely well and he will be competent to deliver exactly the requirement of the clients. We hope that this effort is going to be fruitful and we will be able to bridge the gap which is present in the hospital and which is opening up in a very big way. Thank you and all the best.